What's going on, everybody? Today, today we're gonna do a thing, and we're going to one of our one of our uh, deck critiques that has been in the queue for a while is um, from Unease Joker, and he says, "I've been wanting to build this deck: Nicobolus, Ugin, and Doubling Season. Not sure if we go with Oath of Nyssa and Tron Lands or Utopia Sprawl and Untap Effects. And um, <clears throat> Doubling Season is a really cool card to build around." I'm a big fan of doubling season decks, so let's try that. Yeah, let's not do a standard doubling season. Let's do a modern doubling season. I don't even know what Portland Mox is. What do you? Oh, oh my God, that's insane, Chris. That's crazy, dude. <clears throat> Okay, so now we're going to go Nicol Bolas. Also, one problematic thing um, that may affect uh, future streams in the meantime until I can find a new sponsor is that GoatBots has decided to cease their sponsorship program uh, for streamers because there just wasn't enough Magic Online streams, unfortunately. So you're seeing the first casualties of MTG Arena. <clears throat> And uh, so it's it's my my means of borrowing cards has uh, diminished somewhat, but um, the problem with Nicobolus is that it costs eight mana. <clears throat> Jace is insane. Yes, you just immediately ultimate Jace. I've had decks that I've written articles about Jace ultimating with uh, doubling season before, and also Garrick as well. The best part about doubling season is that when you play it, um, or you know, not when you play it, but um, rather like when new planeswalkers come out, you get to figure out which planeswalkers have have been have become good uh, with the. <clears throat> you're like, all right, I have to look at all the new planeswalkers and figure out are these are these just amazing when you're able to double them. Anyway, as I was saying, um, I can't borrow cards for the <clears throat> for the immediate future. Uh, because my sponsorship has ended with GoatBots along with everyone else. And um, so I reached out to like mana traders and they said they were interested, but we're just trying to coordinate something. So trying to figure out what uh, what the next step is there because borrowing cards is extremely helpful on Magic Online when I want to play Modern or Legacy or, or, or Commander and you guys are critiquing those kind of things. So... You know, if I'm if I'm trying to critique a deck and I have to buy all the cards that we're just trying out, or a commander deck, for example, and I don't have any of those obscure cards, it's it's really difficult. Um, Utopia Sprawl. Utopia Sprawl seems kind of scary and modern, actually, but <clears throat> Jace. Um, nope, not Architect of Thought. Actually, is it Architect of Thought? Yeah, it is Architect of Thought. Soren Grimnemesis. What does that guy even do? Uh, negative nine... That could be pretty good, yeah. I could see that. Let's see what new Veraska is. There has been like two Veraskas since then. Veraska comes into play, puts them at one, and survives. This Veraska actually can't ultimate. <clears throat> Thank you. Two Exodus. Thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Hmm. Talking about you, boy. All right, so. Hmm, let's look up new planeswalkers. Advanced card type. 
Planeswalker. And we'll collect the most recent sets, I guess. Ravnica. Guilds. Dominaria. Rivals. Ixalan. Hour and Omniket. And we'll do the Adir Vold and Calvish ones as well. I don't think I've looked at those. So let's look at Planeswalkers in these sets. Vili, what's going on, buddy? Okay, so we have Angrath. <clears throat> Angrath does get the ultimate. They lose life equal to the number of cards in his or her graveyard. Yeah, that's not great. Uh, Chandra. Chandra Emblem is pretty good, but then you still have to cast spells after that. Domri is Emblem is pretty good, but I don't know if it's like, it still takes time. One nice thing about Domri is he goes to 10, so you would actually, Domri would actually survive. Uh, Dovin Grand Arbiter doesn't do anything. Could you have the Trials, Hawatli, Dinosaur, Knight? That's the promo, or that's the, uh, the intro deck one. <clears throat> Radiant Champion, Hawatli, doesn't, doesn't do anything. Warrior Poet is negative X, so not great. Uh, Jaya Ballard, you get an emblem with you may cast instant. Yep, nope, okay. Karn, no. Kaya, no. Liliana, no. Mm -hmm. Nissa Vital Force, no. Ral, get an emblem with whenever you cast an instant or sorcery. No, that's not going to do it for our deck. <clears throat> Sahili does an ultimate. Sam at the tested search your library for up to two creature and our planeswalker cards, put them onto the battlefield and shuffle your library. That's actually not terrible. She's also four mana, so we can actually just put two more planeswalkers onto the battlefield. That's pretty interesting. Hmm. Thank you. Uh keep on keeping on. Charlie Wayne, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you so much for the reset, thank buddy. You. Welcome back. Rogue Optic, welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much. You guys are great. Um, Teferi, obviously pretty good, but I mean, like, if you just play Teferi and Ultimate Teferi, you still have to have a way to draw the cards before his emblem actually does anything, so not really what we're looking for in this deck. You guys are saying Tamiya? Thank you. I'm not sure why, though. <clears throat> What's happening right now? Badger gifting 10 more subs. Wow. 97 Thank subs you. gifted in this channel. That's pretty insane, dude. That is not a, uh... It's not a reasonable amount of gifted subs, but I accept it because I appreciate it a lot, buddy. Thank you so much. Thank you. And what we're looking up, Tamio. So Tamio, I like. Thank oh, you get to ultimate immediately. Uh, whenever a card is put in your graveyard from anywhere, you may return it to your hand. But like the problem is, we're not putting a lot of cards into the graveyard. Thank you. Oh, Bant Tamio. I see what you're saying. Uh, draw three cards, you get an emblem with you, may cast spells from your hand without paying their mana costs. That actually seems pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like Jace. I feel like we can play one Tamiyo. We can cut We can cut two of these. Like, because we can go play Jace, Ultimate Jace, Ultimate ta get Tamiyo, Ultimate Tamiyo, and then just draw other stuff. Hmm. So we do want to, we want to be able to ramp into 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 these guys. I don't like cutting castmate because it doesn't do anything. Like it has a cute interaction, right? But I mean, it doesn't really do much. <clears throat> Badger, I just got your email, buddy. We can check that out soon. Thank you. Emson, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. 
All right. <clears throat> I can't give subs for my phone. Man. Some guys have it so rough. I have a deck from 2015 that was a blue-green doubling season deck. Thank you. Frank and the Barbados, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Today is kind of my birthday. I was born on a leap year, so I'm only about six and three quarters. Yo, just glad to be here. Sure. <laughs> oh, man, if that's true, happy birthday, buddy. Really appreciate it. That's hilarious. Huh. We want to be able to get this out before these is the really the, the thing we're trying to do here. And there's no way to, like, prevent this from being countered. What's some of, like, the best ramp in modern? You like, I like Search for Tomorrow a lot, actually. Cultivate, maybe? Denmark, what's going on, buddy? Search for growth, cultivate economy research. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. Like, these are definitely going here. This is creatures and tokens, right? So we can actually play this and make Garrick tokens, make two beast tokens. That's pretty cool. Is there any way to get a, an, an enchantment from the graveyard to the battlefield? Is that is that probably... I do like a tribe builder. That's not how you spell that at all. Tribe. I'm just going to put tribe in there. Oh, okay. So it's got to be hyphenated then, right? Tribe. No. Okay. Hmm. Oh, it's Sakura Tribe. Okay, so that's, that makes sense. So this is 31 cards. If we're playing 24 lands, like, we actually don't have... This is actually a lot of ramp right here. It's reclaiming roar. Is that even? What is, I don't even know what that card does. Reclaiming roar? That doesn't seem like a card at all. I see no cards with the word roar in them. I think you just made that card up. Eighty six, no way, big tribe. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I don't think we're gonna use anything like that. I was thinking more like just like, hey, three mana card, like a like a resurrection or something, because that would actually be more efficient than just like bringing this guy back. Ah, oh, Roar of like Reclamation. Gotcha. Gotcha. <clears throat> and it's Artifacts. Alright, so, gotcha. Yeah, for some reason there's no, like, uh, Academy Rectors anymore, unfortunately. That'd be great. Hmm. Well, Sideboard, we're definitely bringing in Dispel. Actually, I kind of like Dispel in the main deck, because if they try to counter our things... I'm not using these. Actually, these, this art's great, but I'm just going to use the... I'm going to try Elder, Eternal Witness. Okay, so I don't think we need all of this ramp, but I do like I do like these better than... I do like these better because we have Garrick Wilds, we could untap lands. Yeah, so with Jace Cunning Castaway, we would go put a Jace into play, it has six counters on it. 
we would negative five it to create two tokens. And then we would negative five one of those to create two tokens. So with every one, we're netting one token. One, one. Actually, is that right? Yeah, so we go negative five on one Jace. Now we have two Jaces with five counters each. Or six counters each. One of them, we make two more Jaces. One of them, we make a bear. So now we have two more Jaces that we can activate. One of those Jaces, we make a bear. One of those, we make two more Jaces. That's interesting. I'm going to put one Jace Cutting Cast away in the deck. Shut up and take my money. I do like Sylvan Carry added. Four years and counting. Mitch, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, dude. Wow. Thank you so much, buddy. Four years is a good amount of time. It is a good amount of time. All right, so we're going to go to card review. Uh, I like Eternal Witness because it gets back things. Oh, I do like Gross Spiral. Gross Spiral is probably better than... Um, is Gross Spiral better than Search? I don't know. Oath of Nissa does seem pretty good. Hmm. I just wonder how we're going to fit all these cards in here. I think two Oath could be fine. But now we have 20... Actually, we do get another slot. So actually, we're doing pretty good. We could play three Oath and then 24 lands here. I'm wondering how we're, I guess I guess Oath with Oath of Nissa and uh, with all the Jaces, we don't really need to worry about Nicol Bolas. I'm gonna put Kitchen Finks in the sideboard for the burn matchup. Um, we do want some kind of Nature's Claim. One, two, say three nature's claim type effects. Thank you. Hmm. Borax Soup Slurher. We're like, thank you so much. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Hmm. I, yeah, I'm, I'm more reluctant on the Eternal Witness just because we don't have that many cards that are going to the graveyard, right? Surgical seems great. Uh, huh, 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 huh. Uh, I think Gross Spiral is better than Explorer. It's basically the same as Explorer, except that it's, it's instant, so... Kitchen Fings actually might just die to doubling season. That's actually a good point. Um, actually, Night of Autumn is probably better, right? We can just add four Night of Autumn to the sideboard. That seems a lot better. Oh, actually, Night of Autumn is insane, right? Because doubling season, then it gets actually four counters. So you can actually have just six fours. And we can just put like two Damping Sphere in the sideboard. Spike feeder is good too, but the, the thing is, like, I'm not assuming that we're gonna have. If we're playing, if we're bringing in kitchen fix against the burn deck, I, I'm not assuming that we're gonna have doubling season in the deck, right? Actually, don't know how. I guess we get it. We have like four planeswalkers to beat the. I don't know if that's good enough. I have no idea. I mean, for Tron, we have nature's claim, negate, damping sphere. We can also have like field of ruin in the main deck, but I, I'm not. I'm not. I think we probably like have two Field of Ruins. I don't love it, but... I want to put one Overgrown Tomb for the Nicobolus in case we really need it. I'm also going to put... We're going to have Misties, not Mysteries. It's a Mystery. And we're going to have one Stomping. Because if we have... Uh, if we have an Overgrown Tomb in play, we can also just get it with um we can untap it with either Garrick or with Arbor Elf. So 
A Johnny Mentor of Heroes? Does that guy ultimate? No. See, the problem with the Johnny... Where actually, hold on. Oh, wow. You Yeah, that's actually pretty sick. You could just go a Johnny, gain 100. That seems pretty good. Uh, forest. And we want to have a good amount of forest because of the uh, Utopia Sprawls. So this is what, 12 lands? So we're going to have one, two, three, four. Hmm. Let's say two islands, maybe. I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna get a bolus, like this bolus is just better to ultimate, right? They deal seven damage, and then they discard. They discard seven cards and sack seven permanents. Like this is just gonna win the game. Oh, scavenging news? Yeah, scavenging news is good. Double counters also seems pretty good too. The problem is, like, we have to make sure we can hit doubling season and then play something after that. I mean, I'd rather have the green destroyal artifacts, which is like Creeping Corrosion, right? But we have three Nature's Claim and four Knight of Autumn, right? So I think this is more than enough artifact and enchantment removal. Like, this is seven ways to deal with artifacts and enchantments. I think that's probably good enough. I think we can cut one E-Witness. So we're making four, five, six more lands. So we get one more slot here. Oath of Nyssa can't hit doubling season, which is kind of sad. I kind of like Serum Visions. Because, like, let's let's think about this. Like, this lets us play any... I don't think I like Oath of Nyssa. I think I like Serum Visions better. Like, the only thing we're actually being... Um, the only thing that's actually difficult for us to cast is, like, Nicobolus or Tamio. So we're going to play four Serum Visions. We need more lands as well. We're going to bring in one Temple Garden. Just because I want to be able to play all of these Planeswalkers. And then we're just going to bring in like a Verdant Catacomb, I guess. Because this gets all of our green sources. So if we go turn on, we'll turn on Arbor Elf, turn to land, put a Utopia Sprawl on a forest. We can tap the forest for two, untap with Arbor Elf, tap it for another two. We might actually want just one Plains as well, so we can search for it with Sakura Tribe Builder. Which is awkward, but maybe we don't want Sakura Tribe Builder for that reason. Actually, maybe we want Growth Spiral. Because I don't really feel like having... Or Farseek. Actually, Farseek's very good, too. I mean, could we build... We could. We probably could build it like Ponza, but there's no point. Like, that's a completely different deck. We're not trying to do all that. Um, let's play Grow Spiral here. Yeah, Windswept Teeth would be better if we did have planes, obviously, because we can get the planes. Um, I think we're just going to go with Gross Spiral. We still need three more lands here. Hmm. Say one more Overgrown. One more Forest and... Probably one more Verdant Catacomb, I guess. So now we have seven fetches. Yeah, turn one, turn one Arbor Elf and turn two Sprawl also lets us cast any of these. Or even Tamio if we actually name white with it. 
and it's on like a breeding pool or something which is not as good but this could be our preliminary list we can i mean we can just try this out see how it goes it could go terribly but we'll find out while the black mana we have two sources of black mana we literally have two overgrown tombs and that's so if we if we draw nickel bolus naturally we can cast it with the two overgrown tombs verdant catacombs aren't sources of black mana they're just incidental they're just extra green fetch lands so i mean we could just we could we could make it like a um like a wooded foothill but it's not gonna it's not gonna get a stomping ground any easier than it is a verdant catacomb like verdant catacomb is gonna get both of these anyway so it doesn't really matter Uh, Godless Shrine is not great because we, we can't search for it with any of our fetch lands except for Virgin Catacomb. And also, it's not a green source. We want to maximize our green sources for Arbor Elf, Utopia Sprawl, and uh, those two things. So, let's just jump in and we'll see what happens. Wow, that's weird. So, I'm going to close this so it retains its shape. Actually, make it a little longer, just one shy. Okay, close. And now we're good. All right. Overgrown spoon. And this is pretty much the hand we were hoping for here. So I'm going to keep it. Turn one Arbor Elf into Utopia Sprawl on turn two is pretty good. Welp. All right. And yeah, another Misty. All right. So I'm actually just going to get a forest here. I also have someone coming over to pick up a, a used Ikea Calyx that I'm selling, so uh, that's going to be a thing in a second. I'm going to just keep getting forests here because we're playing against burn, so. And we're going to name blue. And whatever land we play, we're going to be putting it into play tapped because of reasons. Thank so there's going to be a slight... Uh... Tin Man, you keep up the sweet stream? I'll keep laughing. Sounds good. I'm game. Nickel Bolas Planeswalker. Alright, well we're going to be drawing that. Uh, the problem with Wilderness Reclamation is we have no way to really exploit it. Like, we have no way to, to cast things after we untap our lands. Seems good. Okay, so... The burn deck. So we're going to take 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the next game. There's it, this is the, the the burn deck is probably one of those oppressive decks in modern. It's probably my least fun decks because there's certain things if you're trying to do, you just can't do it. Like, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna take the big planeswalkers out. I'm gonna take the doubling seasons out. I'm bring knight of autumns in. Bring dispel, negate, negate, and probably bring in nature's claim if we can afford it. Take out these two, and we'll bring in the three Nature's Claim. All right, well, I guess we'll just bring in one Nature's Claim. Um, reason being that we can just literally kill one of our own Utopia Sprawls for four life if we really need it, so. It sucks that we're at a point where we can't actually uh, try to implement our goal here, but I'll keep this hand. 
Um, what are we naming with Utopia Sprawl here? We took out all the other colors. So we can actually just play Breeding Pool, name white. And then we can just play Knight of Autumn on turn two to gain two life back, which is... That's fine, I guess. Deciding out the doubling season is such sad face. Um, yeah, all right. Gain four. Uh, we we actually dipped below. So that's something I want to talk about. Actually, uh, today I just dipped below four. I was back. I was at four eighty five, as far as subs go. And Badger gifted ten subs, and now we're back at like we're back at like five oh four today after streaming for a little bit. But it's been really discouraging because I'm not sure how to get growth. Like I feel like I've 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 tapered off at um at around five hundred for the past like three four months, and I'm not sure what to do about it. To be quite honest. It's a little bit frustrating. It's a good number. I'm really I'm I'm thrilled with the number, but I would love to know what to do to actually like consistently. The don't yeah you'll you'll donate hundred subs. I bet you would actually. The problem is that like I don't know how to like maintain that growth. You know what I mean? Or like to have it to have it occur naturally. And that's what's frustrating. I think. I mean, it is. It is what's frustrating. So like. You know. So if any of you guys have any ideas, or if any of you guys know any secrets, even YouTube or, or Twitch, definitely let me know. Tankus, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm super grateful. Like, I'm actually like, I'm comfortable where I am. I really am. Like, I think that the number of subs and the number of like, um consistent viewers and support I have is really nice I'm really I love it a lot um and I'm glad that it's maintained for this long you know what I mean but nonetheless like it's been a long time to uh to just hover at 500 I hate this card so much <laughs> it's like my least favorite card Wear a shirt as a hat. Oh my god, I can't believe two of you guys said that. That's... Let me open this window, hold on. And by window, I mean let me open the blinds, because... <sighs> I want to make sure I know when this person is coming. I really just want... I guess we're just making a beast here. But the problem is, like, if we make a beast, then they get to lightning bolt this and attack a Garrick, and it's pretty bad. But the alternative is... We don't make a beast. We untap two lands. They lightning bolt Garrick and they attack him anyway. So it's basically the same thing. Okay, well that's fine. I mean, if they want to attack, Gar there, there's no way they don't have a way to kill this beast. Is the problem? Okay, maybe they don't. Right. Maybe it's because they only play magic. But the point is, like, there's tons of streamers who only play magic and they're still experiencing growth. Right. Like that's not. No, I haven't rated anyone, but also, like, I don't know how that would help me, I guess. But maybe it's because they see me. Uh, yep, one and one. Sure, that's fine. I don't know. Like, I'm open to I'm open to all suggestions, really, because, you know, I put a lot of effort into the stream, and I'd like to uh, keep it going. And Well, let's see what happens, I guess. Oh my god, you guys with these ridiculous suggestions. Bottom, bottom. Go to 10. I don't feel like we're winning this matchup, unfortunately. Yeah, but Chris, even when I, I like, I, I upload a ton of YouTube videos. I upload a ton of, um... I upload a ton of MTGA standard videos, and like they actually get less views than my than my cast drafts or my vintage cube drafts. 
I really don't want to play either of these because then we take four, but... Okay, well, you guys are clearly... All right, well, I, I mean, like, this is actually a serious topic for me, so I was trying to get some serious responses and see what you guys said, but, like, you guys are just trying to make jokes, and that's fine. I mean, I, I you know, I'm, I'll be the first one to love a good joke on this stream. I, I think that should be apparent, but this is actually something that does frustrate me, so... I'd rather just not talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be abrupt, but like it is something that bothers me regularly where I'm like, God, again, we've dropped below. And I just want to figure it out. Like I just want to, I want to improve and I want to make things better, but like I don't know how to do it. So like, uh, I've reached out to people about collaborations. I know you work with Ali Bid or on that. Just maybe like, um, not really, but mostly because I feel like I'm kind of like a, uh, I feel like I, I've always felt like a real loner in the magic community, which is kind of interesting. Um, hmm. Right, but if I cut out the YouTube videos, then I'm also like cutting out a large portion of my, of my content income. So it's like, I would just be sacrificing one in hopes that the other one grows, you know, that doesn't really... Hmm. Yeah, and see a lot of see you guys saying a lot of you guys found me through YouTube, which is also super sweet because that's that just shows that like it's kind of like it's kind of working then. Um, I don't actually I hate the burn matchup because like I feel like we didn't actually. I, hmm. We need eight of these. I don't know if we actually even need to grow a spiral. It might just be able to put something else in here. That's right, Dankus. I actually agree with you completely. Like, I'm asking people who already like me and who already approve of like what I do to uh, tell me how to improve. <laughs> so it's like it's kind of frustrating. Not frustrating, but it's kind of uh, not super effective. Um. Obs, I like the idea a lot. It might be too grindy, though. It might be too grindy. The video editing required for that might be a little past what I'm willing to do on a, on a regular basis, but... <sighs> Man, I'm just... I'm not sure what these four slots are, though. Like, I feel like we want something to survive in the earlier game. Does Nissa do it? What does Nissa do? The three-mana Nissa. Because being going to three mana seems pretty good when we have like Utopia Sprawl and Arbor Elf as some of our our main our main dudes. Chris, I actually love that we were doing that. I'm sorry, I feel like I feel bad that it didn't work out, but I thought it was super sweet and I love that I love that idea. Um, so Nissa starts at three, so we can't ultimate her immediately. We also put tokens on creatures. I don't think that's great. Nissa Basswood Seer could actually be pretty good. My salt? I, I feel like I have been significantly less salty since I, since, since then. Like, I don't know, man. I haven't been salty for, I feel like I haven't been salty for a while. Um, let's put in like two Nissa Basswoods here. I don't hate Remand, actually. I do like Sylvan Carry added as well. Hmm. I think they tag themselves as mythic because they're in the mythic rank, maybe. But I, I feel like if I'm not doing that, oh, because because of oh because of the grind, literally they're grinding to myth. Uh, yeah. No, I'm, I mean like that's just not my area. I'm like I don't want to be disingenuous with anything. I don't want to do something I'm not like that isn't part of what I am. I'm just trying to expand the audience like that I would naturally get, and figure how figure out what the best way to do that is. Spell Queller seems a little rough on the mana when we have like one one Temple Garden. I don't think we want to be like really hard banned. Mediocre Magic Man, still still appreciate it. Still appreciate it. Billy, what'd you say? Uh, oh yeah, Billy, I actually I did read that. Um, 
The problem is that I don't, you said, I honestly feel like you don't take enough credit for your achievements in Magic. I would, I would say a lot of people who watch you do know you have a Pro Tour, don't know you have a Pro Tour Top 8. Uh, I don't know how to do that, though. I'm not going to like, I mean, it was like three years ago. I don't want to put like in the title, like, Pro Tour Top 8 from, you know, three from 2016. And like, you know, it's, I'm not in like really the, the, the Paper Magic sphere anymore. Like, I really don't play that much Paper Magic because it's just not convenient. Uh, no, my, my, my views from video game streaming is, is significantly lower. It's just not even, not even a really thing. Like I would get like 30 viewers what, what, during Twitch and then like the YouTube views were not even like, so it's just like, it's not worth the time really. I'll just play video games in my spare time rather than like setting up a stream and doing all that. Cause it's just, it's not, it doesn't add up. Like when playing, when playing games is like my, my job to begin with, like, I really don't want to. Thank you. No beats for 13 months. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Clearly define a schedule and stick to it hard cards. Frustrating not knowing when you'll be on at the tourist field. I feel like I do stick to it pretty regularly. I have my off weeks and off days, but like, I, I, I mean, I don't think any other streamer also does that, right? Like, I don't think Caleb or Hoagland or, or whoever, I don't think they're also like X time every single day, are they? Like, I have no idea, but I, I really don't get that impression. Anyway. I really don't want this this video to be dominated by this conversation, though I am liking where it's going, and maybe people on YouTube will also have similar input. I'll put two romans in the deck. I also like Cryptic Command. Views on the Commander videos are good. I mean, on YouTube anyway. But the problem is I'm looking for, like, Twitch. I'm looking for mostly Twitch, because Twitch will lead to, to YouTube. Uh, I don't think we're that heavy of a Planeswalker deck is the problem. Like, we really just have... We can only put one of these guys into play at the same time. Hmm... Could be alright. But I mean, like, it's kind of narrow. My problem with a later schedule is... I stream now from, like, 2 to 7 or 8, right? So, um... If I start later, if I start, like, 4... And then I stream until like 10. Like, I don't know when I'm eating dinner is really the problem. And it, and it basically cuts off every single night I have on the weekend. Uh, it, it's not like I'm opposed to it. I'm not like against um, streaming at that hour. I don't have a problem with the, with 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 doing it at that time. But it really puts a limitation on my social life. Which is something I've tried to avoid. I've tried to be like, okay, well, I can, I can finish it at like 7 or 8. So if I have things to do or if I want to go get dinner with someone, like I can still do those things. But it's weird because you're trying to like you're trying to um you're you're trying to uh, appeal to like you know all the different time zones, right? So actually, Night of Autumn is probably main deckable. I like that a lot. Thank this seems you. like this seems like the hand. Steven, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. It's weird. Like, I feel like if I stream later, I I, I'm, I might be uh, catering to one audience, but I might be alienating another. You know what I mean? So it's like... Okay, actually, Cavern of Souls could mean that... Uh, I don't feel great about Path just because, like I said, we're not trying to... We're trying to be a blue-green deck that's only splashing for, like, the... Uh, the incremental colors. Let's get this. Utopia Sprawl on you. We'll name Blue, because we have Temple Garden. We could J no, I think we're gonna save Jace. We're gonna play Garrick here. Could 
could just make a beast. I think we're just making a beast here. If they want to path the beast and play a human, um, that's still it's fine. We can doubling season next turn, so we can make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana next turn. That's enough for doubling season. One, two, three. Actually, we can make. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So we can actually play both of these next turn if nothing happens. That's pretty insane. Oh, you guys here. Give me one second, guys. I gotta go. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Did I miss anything? No. We got to untap. Okay, I think they're... Oh! <laughs> that's so sad. Alright. So what do we got here? We can doubling season and make beasts again? Oh, what I missed? There's a bunch of chats here. That seems very good. I'm not going to attack because, well, that's not where I want to be. All right, hold on. Oh, I probably will get demonetized. I'll have to cut that out of the out of the YouTube video. Yeah, Badger is like super, actually super consistent and dedicated, all things considered, like. Also, one thing I do want to say about my stream is that I actually love all of the chat. Like, I want to interact with like everyone. Ninety nine percent of the chat in my in my stream is super interactable. Shut up and take my money. I like pizza. You like pizza? Here's ten dollars. Hodge, thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> I'll be sure to actually spend that on pizza for you. Ten pizza dollars. Okay, so I think we just win this game, right? We go, Jace, Architect of Thought. The Discord is also sweet. So if you guys are watching on YouTube and you want to head on over to Twitch and sub for the sweet, sweet Discord, definitely feel free to do that. What are we getting from our deck? Let me do cool stuff. Don't concede. I think they're conceding. I can't... Well, dang it. I should just click something really quick. We were going to get Nicol Bolas. And then we would have ultimate Nicol Bolas. They would have sacrificed their entire board. Well, that's exactly what we wanted to do, so. And they're playing some humans, huh? Arsenic Wolf, branding myself more how so? Five hundred sub to Frank Bits. <laughs> what do you what do you do when you've already subbed and you can't sub again? Sub to Frank Bits. Swifty gamers, I love see. I love the suggestions you guys have. A lot of times they just don't work in practice. Like if I did a poll um, to see what time works, like thirty people would answer it. Like the like it's when I do a poll like while I'm streaming and I'm like, hey guys, let me know what you want to see next, and. Out of the, the the hundred plus viewers, like it gets like seventeen responses. Like just people don't people don't take the time to do it. Uh, let's take up dispel. Bring in knights. I'm just gonna bring in four knights here. It must be knights, right? <laughs> just wait a month, maybe. <laughs> Talk more about Twitch. Yeah, Twitch Prime is actually a, a great thing to mention. If you guys have an Amazon Prime account, you can connect it with your Twitch account. And you can come on over 
and sub to the stream for free. You get a free sub every month if you have Amazon Prime. So be sure to check that out. And be Laker, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, five hey YouTube, come interact on Twitch Bucks. Nice. Nice. Thank uh, you. this sounds a little slow. Oh, be Laker, what happened? You just said you said just wait a month. And then you did it right now. I don't even understand. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, Badger gifted it. Badger's got your back. I got it. Oh, look, the, the slow hand became even even worse. <laughs> okay, we're having a good time. I like the counter idea. Is there is there an app that does that automatically? I feel like you could probably do that somehow, but if I have to update it, it's a little it's a little frustrating. Hodge with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. I don't like this at all. Hmm. This hand is aesthetically pleasing, at least. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that guy got it into his car, and he's out of here. Sweet. Man, I, I tossed that Ikea Calyx up on, on, on the Facebook Marketplace. It was gone in a day. I don't know if I... I, I have to mulligan this hand, right? Best hand yet. Bottom. <laughs> what does that say? Ugh. Trust me, there's no way your hand is this risky. Unless if we draw a Utopia Sprawl, though, we might be in business. Actually, we have to draw land, wouldn't we? <laughs> okay, we're having a good time. Just want to stop in and tell you that you're the only magic streamer I watch. None of the others even come close to being as entertaining as you guys. Just watched your video where you discussed the too many cooks in the kitchen dealio love. Valtaric, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Interesting. They did not attack. But we don't get to do anything, so that's okay. I did that thing where I don't actually get my refill. And now I feel bad. Now I can be like, mark as sold. Done. Done. It's like, after all the subs that were just gifted, I'm down to 501. Like, I literally just lost two subs after the past, like, six subs were given. That's just funny. It's just, it's just like, um, oh, God. I think this is just better. Yeah, it still doesn't let us do anything, so that's fine. But the problem is, like, I can't just rely on you guys gifting subs all the time, right? Like, I can't just rely on Josh or Villy or, or Badger, like, to, to gift, you know, 10 subs or 20 subs at a time. Like, that's just not sustainable, right? So that's, like, what I'm what I'm worried about. You know, you guys just can't support me forever. So. Oh, no! We've made a terrible mistake. I don't think it's that terrible, but, like, this is hard to... Thank you! <laughs> Speak of the devil. Hodge Galashi with five subs. Yeah, this is... Thank you. Oh, man. I think we're just dead, right? Four, five, six, seven. If they play any human, it's eight, nine, ten. Even if they don't, Thank it's four. You. Yeah, I'm just going to go to the next game. Oh, my God. You guys are ridiculous. Thank but you see my point, I'm sure, right? Like, it's... It's not natural growth. It's artificially inflated. Even though I do appreciate Thank it a you. tremendous amount. Yeah, the, the drop subs are definitely not people, like, not 
like actually they're not actively canceling right like it's not people like oh i'm just gonna i'm gonna unsubscribe 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 it's it's literally they twitch prime sub last month it cuts off today or it's a gifted sub that has run out right so it's those what's one of those two things thank you badger gifting a sub to the stream decker bot <laughs> like you do like you do which is not actually accurate currently so i'm gonna keep this hand because we do have a turn one utopia sprawl and i'm okay with that thank you You're easily the most enjoyable MTG streamer. I would love to think that's true, but uh, I don't know if I could take credit for that, but I appreciate you saying so. How'd you like you gifted a sub to pizza? Is that a thing? <laughs> is that real? Is there a real account in the chat called pizza? Because if so, that is an amazing... Uh, that is an amazing username. Oh. Oh. This really just happened? Is this, is it? Is this life? Oh wait, no, it doesn't work because we I could have just done it the other way. I forgot that this uh this guy just came into play. I don't know how magic works. I'm a little distracted by the chat. So um Look at it this way, people just sub for just five dollars a month if they had the cash. If if I had the cash, I know I'd want to give you more than that because I feel like I had a lot more than five dollars earned. Since I can't subscribe more than myself, gift I agree with you. I think that's a great way to do it. I really appreciate it. And you guys are just saying that is super awesome too. And I don't want it to come across like I'm complaining by any means. I'm definitely not. I, I am I am grateful for, for my audience and for the, the success I've had in Magic. Um, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it. That's all. I feel like we're just not... How do you get past these things? Do we do we really need just like Supreme Verdict or something? We just take out the Arbor Elf and bring in Supreme Verdict, maybe. There's also just old fashioned Wrath of God. Maybe we need to be Bant. Maybe I'm being too stubborn by not just being Bant. We're just gonna go to two here. Like no matter what, if we if we neg one. Shut up and take my money. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Marketing yourself as a content producer, doing appearances, etc. could definitely increase your ship. Didn't want to get lost in the chat again. I'll just casually donate 150 because I don't want this to get lost in the chat. Wow, dude. Wow. I definitely agree with you. I think I think more um quote unquote like presence would be better thank you so much dude arsenic oh my god dude that's insane thank you so much dude really appreciate it like i was actually considering going to more scg open events um because it's just well oh, see they did it too unless they didn't unless this is a, oh they just want to put a counter on the meatball wow that's pretty good i'm a fan of that That was nice. Um, just to like get my, just to be, be out there more. Like, cause I think if people see like doing well with decks or like doing well at events, like people are going to be like, Hey, let's, let's see what this guy's all about. The problem with doing joint streams with other streamers is that like, um, a lot of them don't need it. Right. Like it's too hard to collaborate with someone like Abby or, or Luis or Numat. Like, um, and like, I know all of them personally, like I'm, I'm friends with all of them, but like, they don't need to be like, yeah, let's work something out. Let's set up our, our streams. Like they they all have so much going on that it's like, it's hard to do. This Thalia is a real, why aren't they attacking? I don't know what's going on. Oh, that was, <laughs> oh, it was a misclick. Okay. So they're like, yeah, I'm going to get this next level play where I'm going to put a counter on Mute Vault, but also...
I mean, Bant Dibs definitely gives us better options for removal. It also gives us better options for board states like this. So we could actually take out the Arbor Elf and, like, bring in more white cards. I'm going to bottom both of these. Ugin the Spirit Dragon is actually not terrible here, I don't think. So we're just going to plus Jace here. And we can actually kill your Muta Vault if we want to. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ugin costs like 8,000 mana. I've definitely tried to use Twitter less. Like Twitter as a as a platform doesn't doesn't really thrill me. Um I'm just gonna untap this. Oh, let's get an island here. And Jace gets to live here, which is kinda cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like we're actually closer to Ugin than we should be. Oh my god, this is so many lands in our 24 land deck. Do people actually click on those links? Yes, people click on those things a lot. Because there's no disincentive not to, right? Like, it's if it's something... The, the net positive, if you like that thing, is super high. Like, if I see an ad for something that I might like, if I end up really liking it, the net positive is high. If I don't like it at all, I have... It's basically no loss whatsoever. That's fine. This is a human? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I think after a certain point, like, after a certain amount of Ethereum is in you, like, you're just not human anymore. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be... I don't want to be, uh... Other Swornest or anything, but... <laughs> They're like, okay, now we're definitely killing Jace. Yeah, so even if we block here, the Thalia still kills Jace. So we are just going to not block. I would love to record playing my queue, but I can't even get eight players together. So. Uh, let's get... We have blue, we don't have a white... If we just draw Tamiyo, I want to be able to play it, so. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If this Thalia was not here, I guess if we can survive five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
If we can survive one turn, we can play Ugin. If, like, they don't play anything. It's actually not terrible. But, I mean, that has to... It's like a long shot. <clears throat> Once it says paying cost, I'm just like, all right, cool. Yep, now we have to block. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's brutal. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, can't do it. Dang it. No, because they have Thalia in play. Six, seven, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, we got a block here. Two of the lands were already shuffled in from Field of Ruin, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Like, it was literally just two lands, and I'd rather... Th I'm thinning out the deck and shuffling two lands back, so, I mean, like... Yep. Actually, hold on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's never going to work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Also, this guy costs five. Yeah. I mean, I don't feel like we're actually that far. He said, you've got this game. I'm def My head's definitely on it. I'm like, I definitely don't have this game at all. I just drew all lands. Um, yeah, let's put in Wrath of God. I like two Wraths. Take out one Forest, we'll bring in another Temple Garden. I'm not a huge Roman fan. Thank you. Not a huge Arbor Elf fan. Cyborg Huey, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Arsenic, well, thank you again, man. Really appreciate it. That was a extremely generous, uh, a really generous uh, advertisement. Uh, all right, so we're we're we added two wrath. I don't like settle because I don't want to keep. This isn't a deck where we're keeping mana up. Like we're just trying to play. We're trying to either ramp or we're trying to find things or we're trying to play. So I think just wrath is better in this situation. We're definitely going to be more bant. Yes, we do want one planes. I think here. I mean, Verdict is actually better. I don't think Verdict is actually going to hurt that much. I, I think the, th the three color requirement on Verdict is a lot harder, but I, I think it should be fine because we're probably going to have blue anyway. I do kind of like Knight in the deck over like Nyssa. Also, we can just add them naturally. Oh, actually, we put one of these guys instead. Yeah, you can come back over here. Also, Eternal Witness is good. We do want more ramp though, don't we? Well, we don't want a Mana Dark because we're playing Supreme Verdict, right? So, I mean, like, we could actually cut Sprawl for maybe, like, Farseek. But I do like Sprawl because we, also, we almost have no way to not put it on a, on a Forest with 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, 20 ways to get Forests. There are, like, 4 lands we can't put it on, 2 Field of Ruin. Oh, we actually have 25 lands now. Let's cut a land. 2 Field of Ruin... One island. Yeah, I think search is good. Search is probably better than Nissa here. That's not gonna search. Farseek gets us dual lands, which is not, which is worth considering. Uh, so with Farseek, we can get Overgrown Tomb, Breeding Pool, Temple Garden. It's it's a lot. It's a lot nicer when you can do that. But search for tomorrow, you can play on turn one. The thing is, like, neither of them... You're not going to feel the effect of either of them until turn three, keep in mind. 
Search you play on turn one, on turn three it resolves. So on turn three you have four mana. Farseek you play on turn two, and on turn three you have four mana. So I actually think Farseek might be better. Uh, I don't want to drop Nicol Bolas because part of the stipulation or part of the, the critique was that Travis wanted to play Nicol Bolas and Ugin. Plus, I want to be able to ultimate Jace, get a Nicol Bolas, and put it into play. Oh, we can actually... Let's fix our sideboard. I think we took cards out, but did not add cards. So... Um... I think one Stony Silence is probably fine. Actually cut the, we can cut one of these because we do have four copies of Knight. Uh, or we can just put in something else like, um, like Kitchen Finks or something. Because I don't think we're actually having trouble against Artifact decks. I think we probably have trouble against the, um, like Burn, obviously. I do like Kiora. All right. Oh, actually, hold on. I, I know what we're doing. We want to put Windswept Heath instead of Burden Catacomb because then we can get actual planes. I might also just want one hollowed fountain. Yeah, we'll see. This seems okay. Well then. What are we getting here? Just a regular basic forest? I like basic forest here. Basic forest gets around things like... Uh, Ghost Quarter? Does it get around Ghost Quarter? I know it gets around Field of Ruin. Could say green because we already have a Hollowed Fountain. I kind of like that. Because if we draw Garrick... I guess if we draw Jace, though. I don't think it actually matters that much because we do have a Far Seek, so I'm just going to say blue. Yeah, Teferi in, in Arena is pretty miserable. Thalia. All right, well... Of course, we've drawn the Nicol Bolas and the Ugin, like you do. Teferi's not, because we, we actually ultimate Teferi, and then you don't have any way to really draw cards to take advantage of it.
One, two, so we can actually just play another Farseek here and then keep up Dispel, I guess. I mean, I understand why. I'm back and you're still as handsome as ever. Well, glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Let's get an Overgrown Tomb here, because we don't actually need any other sources. And if we can just get the other Stomping Ground and the other Overgrown Tomb, we have one way to do it. So we only need one of those two. Is this like spirits with Thalia? Okay. Don't be another Supreme Phantom. That'd be really sad. Let's draw Supreme Verdict. The, the Supreme Verdict that we put in the deck. Let's draw that. You guys remember that guy? I guess we get Stomping Ground here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, theoretically, no, we can't because the white and the blue are attached. Yep. See now you're now you're seeing the problem with this, uh, Nickelbolus. Darkwind, thank you so much for the for the the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Either way, we have to do this. So we're gonna serum visions here. Jace, architect of thought, field of ruin. They do have a mute vault, so they're attacking for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine next turn. Oh, I guess we could have played Doubling Season, but we didn't have Jason Hand, right? So we could have played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Could have played Doubling Season here. Yeah, the, the white for Verdict, we're going to have to change our mana base a little bit. Utopia Sprawl might actually not be what we're looking for. Even though we do have Garrick's in the deck. And they're really good with Garrick. But they're really good with Arbor Elf, too, because you want to be able to untap them and play Garrick on 3. Oh, man. Magic's so hard. There's so much... Shut up and take my money. Chuck, hey, Frank, don't you recall, but I gave you four Moto Vexing Devils a year back for a deck for a TCG article for Rose about time. I stuck my hand in my pocket to say thanks again. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Wow, that had to be years ago, dude. Um, I really don't want either of these. I think we actually... God, I'm wondering if we just went doubling season and then we went Jace Architect. I thought we probably could have just won this game, right? Chuck, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. That is awesome. I don't think we want either of these. Thalia is like the real problem here. So you're going to give them back? <laughs> I, I think I still have them. Okay, well, they didn't attack with Mita Vault, so that's good. But it doesn't really mean anything, unfortunately. Because they also probably have Spell Queller in hand. Yeah, we're just dead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, yeah. Alright. They also, I mean, if we play this, we try to play Jace, they could probably Spell Queller it. So I'm not... 1, 2... Actually, we could play a land and then keep up... No, Dispel does not do that. Alright, we'll take out the Dispels. I don't know if I even like the Dispel in the main deck anymore. I like the I like the evolution that we're that we're going through here, but do I just want four Knight of Autumns, or maybe like another Verdict and Knight of Autumn over here? Hmm. Bring in the other verdict. Bring in the other knight. I think that's actually fine. Uh, 
A new modern set that skips standard? That's insane. I think our mana base gets a lot better if we just take out the Utopia Sprawls. Ah, led with Mutavolt, eh? Let's get a Breeding Pool. Oh wow, I'm gonna make a, I'm totally making a video about that new that new modern announcement. That seems insane. I'm getting real tired of the Stalia. Okay, so we can actually go this on here. And then play Serum Visions. Um, we can go one, two, three, four. I definitely want the land. Don't think we need a third far again. We'll keep the land though. Okay. Well. Oh, verdict is nice. Bottom of the land, top of the verdict. Seems good. Well, I'm not just going to run this out when there's only Thalia on the board. Do you, believe, do you believe that Arena has brought in all new players that Wizards... Yeah, I definitely do. 100%. I Also, I don't think Wizards... I don't think Wizards is a company that just lies about stuff like that either. It's just it's just a bad look for them to lie about it. Uh, no white there. Okay, so we'll use this for the white. Had a feeling that guy was coming. So we could just play another one. Put two counters on so we can actually block a Thalia. Modern already has a forceful effect. Yeah. <laughs> That's an ambitious thing to call it. Are you gonna path this guy? Can you not path it because you have Thalia in play? Shut that's, up and take yeah, my that's money. what I figured. One magical Frank book. Kerwin, thank you so much, buddy. Is that what I feel like that's just the default book though, right? Now they're gonna path it. Deputy, oh wow. Oh wow, I hope they don't have a counter spell because if they don't have a counter spell, we're just gonna, oh, they actually, it actually doesn't matter. They can't spell Queller and, oh wow, this is gonna be a blowout.
Push it to the limit. Do, 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 do. Push it to the limit. Walking on the razor's edge. Who's on the no Shut up and take my money. You gotta push it. I'm gonna gain four life with this guy. One default bug. <laughs> Oh, Josh, good times. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, guys. I'll put two counters on this guy. So now we got a nice little uh, array of threats here. The reason I ask is because a lot of streamers have been asking the same question as you on how to better increase their stream viewers, but I haven't seen anybody try to cater to new players. Like, I think that Jim Davis is a drastic grab a line. I think Mary Sue is going to the fact that it's magic deck building. That's actually a good point. That's interesting. That's a great idea, Charlie. That's a really good idea. I like that a lot. Uh, sure. Let's go get a... Let's get an island. Rogue Optic, Dev, have a good afternoon, buddy. Always good to see you. Oh my god, I'm so tired of Thalia's. Gonna crack this guy. Let's get... Let's just get a hollowed fountain this time. <laughs> oh man, that's fascinating. That is fascinating. I kind of just want to get back to Serum Visions here. Shut up and take my money. One crushing my soul to leave it uneven, Buck. What is it at now? 703? Man. I like both of these, but I really want my double. I wear my Dublin season at. I want to put this on top, and then I'll put this on top of that. We'll play this, but no cracksies. I'm sorry. Cabal therapy is now legal in modern. Is that what you're saying right now? Cabal Therapist? Okay, so hold on. For those watching on YouTube, this was a card just revealed in the new modern set. It is Cabal Therapist 1-1 one, one for 1 black with Menace. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase... So you, if you play this in your pre-combat main phase, you don't actually get to use it on the same turn. So you'd have to wait till the next turn. You may sacrifice a creature when you do choose an on-land card name, then target player reveals their hand and discards all cards. So if you play this on turn 1... Um, and then you also, you can't also play it on turn two. You can't activate it on turn two most likely because you won't have a second guy. That's interesting. It's Cabal Therapy, but it's hard to use before turn three. And this art is actually insane. Look at this art. That's actually great. That card's great. Oh, he, the, can it sack itself? When you choose an online card, then target player, uh, you may sacrifice a creature at the beginning. Of oh, you can, yeah, you can sacrifice itself. That's actually great. Well, that's pretty surreal. They're making a set. I've, I've said this for years. I can't believe they're finally doing it. That's amazing. There should be a set that just introduces cards into modern when it needs it. That's actually insane. Wow. Wizards, Wizards R and D. Where's my job? I'm probably just gonna supreme verdict here, so I'm okay with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have nine mana. So if they have a So we're going to go blue, green, 
flow verdict two. And now we're gonna go one, two, we're gonna get the Garrick and we'll see if we wanna crack this. Um, bottom this, put this on top and I guess we're just gonna wait here. Oh, I overpaid for that? That's sad. Oh, because of the Thalia was dead. Yeah, all right. Yeah, but I, I just did content for Bethesda. I didn't actually make games, unfortunately. Um, let's actually... One, two, three, four. We'll play Garrick. Spell Queller. You got it. I would rather have that get Spell Queller so I can Jace and then plus. Modern Horizons. Wow, that's gonna be that's gonna be good to make a video. That's gonna be some. We're gonna have to do some talking after that. That's gonna be a lot of information to, to gather. They did not hit Jace. I like it. Well, I'm not gonna crack anything because we don't need lands right now. Oh my god. There's only 24 lands in this deck. <laughs> like. Let's bring an overgrown tomb here. Because then we can actually Misty Misty and get the... Uh, Get the stomping ground and the uh the other overgrown tomb and then if we just draw nickel bolus then it's good times good times do you know how much this set is going to sell when it's ex exclusively modern cards and this is the only way to get them like that's insane oh now you're going to jace okay So now we're going to get uh, other Overgrown Tomb and Stomping Ground. So now we actually have Nicobolus Mana. And we have Windswept Teeth. Yeah, I'm looking forward to drafting that set a lot. All right, next card they have shown, Sarah the Benevolent, four mana. Four mana is a good, a good point, and four loyalty is also a good point. Plus two, creatures you control with flying get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Wow, this is going to be ridiculous in the spirit deck, apparently. Um, negative three, create a four, four angel with vigilance and flying. That seems great. Negative six, which is pretty easy to do. You literally do it the second turn. You get an emblem with, if you control a creature, damage that will reduce your life total to less than one reduces it to one. So worship. Wow, so you can plus this on the turn it comes into play. And then just make a make a worship the next turn. That's pretty interesting. That is pretty interesting. Now you're going face again? Interesting. I 
I'm going to regret casting this Jace when we're going to draw a doubling season. It's just the Utopia Sprawl, guys. It's just the Utopia Sprawl. Let's add a green, I guess. I don't know if it really matters at this point. I'm going to plus this. I'm going to plus this. And next time we actually get the ultimate Jace. That's kind of cool. Make two Jaces. I may change the goal. I So, here's a fun fact. Uh, Elk Tears is going to be joining us for the 15-hour stream next week. So is BioVisionary. So, actually, we have, we're have going to have, like, five people here. So, I was actually going to see if we could cover BioVisionary's flight the same way we did Elk Tears' flight. And you guys don't totally don't have to. But I figure since we're so far ahead on the rent goal that it would be kind of cool to... Uh... Okay, so let's ultimate this guy. Never done this before. You can key with five. Actually, Rob is going to be here. Mike is going to be here. Me, Elk Tears, BioVisionary. Uh, the flight ended. I actually paid for it. I paid for Elk Tears too. And I just, it's going to be like, it was, it came to 360. So, um, I would just make that the goal. Cause we're already ahead. Like we're, we're so far ahead on the March or on the April rather. So, um, I guess we'll just make one bear, right? And then we can just have a win condition, right? The problem is if they play rattle chains and we just end up getting hit with a rattle chains, that it's pretty bad. Why doesn't this have flying? <laughs> it's literally like on the ocean. So next time remember, creature gets an opponent and only negative one, negative zero until end of turn. I have three cards. I think we just have to plus this again. Because if they play Rattle Chains, it's two damage. But then if they play like a... Like, we're basically dead if they have Rattle Chains, like, Pump Spell. Yep, that's what we were afraid of. That is what we were afraid of. Yeah, that's rough. Well, that was sad. Fortunately, I don't think that was the actual Planeswalker we were super worried about. Like, Jace actually gives us a chance to do things, but... Alright, we're going to two here. Yeah. We're basically dead, so we have to actually do this. And to two doubling seasons... All right, well, we were, we were very close there. I feel like that was close. But I feel like the deck still isn't where we want it to be, unfortunately. Search. I think we can put Search instead of Sprawl in here because we're trying to thin the deck out. I can't, yeah. I can't do that. All right, so we're going to go, I don't want, I do not want this one. I want this one. Hmm. I like the idea of like putting two paths in the deck. Jace is cool because like if you have doubling season out, you can just literally go infinite with this. So you can do doubling season into Jace, which is kind of cool. Does one do I want another Jace because of that? Maybe. Hmm. Magic is hard. I'm just gonna submit like this. I think. I think we're actually. I think we're. I think we're onto something here. We also don't need that many forests anymore because of the. Because of the lack of the other guys. Um, but we still want it to be able to... Actually, we yeah, we want to be able to search on turn one. We do have... We can, we can always, like, fetch land for that. Let's put, like, one hinterland. I actually like these.
and we can just go to an island. How are we trying to get the five mana? Well, we got far seeks and search for Mars. I really wish there was like a show and tell type card or a Eureka type card. Then we can just play Omniscience. Is there any way to put an enchantment like from your hand in the battlefield in modern? I don't know. Let's add one Hinterland Harbor and we'll add one Sun Petal. Yeah, but I feel like then we're just turning it into a blink deck. I almost don't want the Eternal Witnesses anymore, and I'd rather have, like, Path to Exile. We do have Supreme Verdict, though. I like Eternal because it gets back the doubling season. Uh, Zura's never going to be able to search for doubling season. That'd be way too powerful because then we can just search for omniscience. Lost Aura Mancers is interesting. I also think we need Path because we're dirtling. I agree with you. Let's just try two Paths, and then we'll just play one more game, and we'll see what, we'll see what that does. Path to Peace, right? All right, let's see what this does. Doubling season. Push it to the limit. Walking on the razor's edge. I see you can see your mic for survival. Let's find another mic. <laughs> Jenna, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. Oh, no beats, huh? All right, I'll hop out of this thing. Yeah, no beats. Challenge me. What if we played Lost Ormances and Vampire Hex and Vampire Hexmage and then got like Omniscience? I mean, that seems ambitious, right? Is it Search Your Library? It is, man. I, I love Nick's Fleece Lamb. The pro the Nick's, Nick's Fleece Lamb, Ram Nick's Fleece Ram. Uh, the problem is I don't want to I don't want to put it into play when we're actually um, trying to supreme verdict. Why can't you just challenge me? <laughs> I have to go to like I have to navigate and go to the tournament room. Okay, hold on. Uh, I don't know where that is. Constructed play open play. Tournament practice. Okay, there you go. You nailed it. Okay, how do I... Can I make this bigger? The answer is no? Okay. 
All right, I guess I have to scroll down. Okay, well, there we go. That's a that's a this is not a this is not a misuse of negative space here. Of course not. Search for Escanta, I like. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't love. I don't love Magic Online's interface sometimes, but it does what it does. It does what it needs to. Like I'm playing. I've been playing Magic for the past two hours now, and I haven't had any issues whatsoever as far as the games themselves. So. I said no. Got him. Ghostly Prison seems like gas. I feel like we're changing the deck there, but I feel like I'm also okay with that kind of change, so. Okay, so like, this is actually us doing it, because next turn we get to actually play Doubling Season into Jace, so that's pretty cool. Walking on the razor's edge. Get him. Let's just get him. This is how you do it, guys. This is how you do it. Reels are handy, she's a non-creature. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> How horrible would fogs be? Not terrible. I think it depends on which fogs are a reason, but... Uh, let's get the white mammals, and uh, we'll get rid of your bitter blossom. And then we'll play this guy. And we'll get an overgrown tomb. And then we'll play this guy and get another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that leads us with all the mana to cast Nicol Bolas, ironically. We have blue, red, black, black. An Amazon Prime truck is outside and it stopped to deliver something. And another Amazon Prime truck drove by and honked at it. Like they were just like two ships passing in the night, like two bros being like, Yo, what up, Amazon Prime? Like they were. Like truckers, like convoys in the night. I, I find it really ironic that we, we actually had to, we were able to live our dream except for the fact that they had Mardu charm, which is awkward. All joking aside, how horrible would frogs be? Not horrible at all. They're actually wonderful. I'm a big fan of all reptiles. Oh, I should have got a second white, so now when we draw Supreme Verdict, we can we can cast it. But that's actually probably pretty good, too. That's a fine trade. Let's go white, black. Oh, uh, they're called Bearded Dragons. Bubba Dubs. That's a 6-5, good buddy.
I mean, with this doubling season, any Planeswalker we draw is pretty nuts. Of course, we only have seven mana this time, so we're going to probably draw when a rate drops. Or, but... Oh, dang, this is getting out of hand. Come on, let's do it one time, dude. Let, oh, no, oh, it doesn't matter, actually. And we're already in the end zone. Yeah, this guy was like, why didn't we attack? It didn't matter because of things. So how many... If we play Garrick, this makes like four beasts. That's pretty cool. Yep. Seems good. I'll take two, I guess. I feel like we're doing so good. Even Jace Cutting Castaway wins us the game, right? Okay. Well, that was rude, but... I also wonder if it would have just been better to just go to our, go to our face there. Oh, our accidents. I guess it's fine. Like, there's only two of them. Now Gideon's going to start attacking us, though, so it's going to be like one, two. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's good, too, I guess. Wow, this game was really, uh, really, really sweet up until the point where they literally had uh, Mardu Charm to get rid of our win condition. This is where they cast two spells. I will flame slash my fairy rogue. And I will path to exile my. Sure. One time. Why do none of these win on the spot? Oh my god. I mean, if they draw any spell, they just win the game, right? And they probably have one anyway. How do I know which have been used? I guess the sevens have been used. Oh, this is well this is all worth it. I have no idea how many times to do this. Oh god. Are we just breaking magic online? Is that what's happening? Definitely not intentionally. Why don't they have haste is my question, I guess. Let's get down. I can't make anymore. Did I give up? I can't tell if it broke or not. Nothing is responding. Uh oh. Did I break my own internet? Wow. I think the internet just died, which explains everything.
I'm getting real tired of this. This is actually ridiculous. Well, that's good times. Yep, internet is down. Okay, well. Guess we'll have to work on that. That was a cool time for that to happen. Okay, well, the internet went down and now we're back, so. <laughs> oh my god! Oh lord. Yep, we're definitely screen capturing that ridiculous nonsense. Yeah, alright, well. Holy God. I guess we'll just, I guess we'll just pass like this, right? This is amazing. And then Ben just goes, uh, I drew a spell, so kill you. Like, I have to assume he has spells in his hand anyway, right? So. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Close game, though. Close game. Other knight can come in. Supreme Verdict isn't doesn't seem great here. Uh, I'd rather have negates. Take out the paths. Well, that was uh, that was reasonable. That's true. The new Sarah Planeswalker would have been nice because there's no way we wouldn't have had one creature in play. I will play first. Doubling season does feel too slow for modern, but it's always fun to play. It's always like, well, this is pretty cool, so. Doubling season and search. Yeah, we're going to bottom this and put this on the top.
Push it to the limit. All right, here comes a little bitter blossom. Never don't have it. Night, Night of Autumn. I didn't have it. Oh, we can actually be doubling season next turn. That's gas. So what do we do next turn? We can go Garrick, Gary. I think if this resolves, we just go Tamio, Ultimate Tamio. They're probably just gonna Mardu Charm our hand though, because that's what they do. They didn't do that. Oh, this is nice. This gives us a good amount of time. What up, Zichi? See, say what you will about this deck. I'm actually having a good time with it though, so that's pretty cool. Come on, Nicobolus or Ugin. Off the top four cards. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Nailed it. Nailed it. I'm about to bust. <laughs> oh, good times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have nine permanents. They can sack everything but the two planeswalkers. That's pretty good. I guess they're going to do that. That's our risky. Uh... What does it say? You may cast spells from your hand. Sure. So I'll cast this. We should have actually killed the other thing first so that they didn't keep that. But I think we're okay. Oh, we could have actually played both of these first, and then we, they would have had nothing. But we got so excited about the Nicol Bolas that it was like... Yeah, that was bad. But it's still fine, is the funny thing. Like, we're still very, very good. We definitely should have Wrath first, and we should have played Knight to kill the Bitter Blossom, because that would have taken out at least three permanents, leaving them with nothing. But I got so excited that I didn't even care. I just wanted to literally top deck this or Ugin, and we did it. That's what's known as a good game. I can also bring in Natural Nature's Claim for the, the Bitter Blossom, but I don't think Bitter Blossom is a super big concern. Tamiyo has been great so far. Draw three. Uh, keep this hand as well. Overgrown to search, then serum visions. Like, this is actually pretty good because it does let us play Garrick, which should let us play doubling season. This is a turn three Garrick, which I'm okay with. The only reason doubling season is a fair card is because it costs five mana. If it costs any less than that, like three or four, I think it's... I mean, it's just utterly broken at that point. If sure. Oh, uh, we did want to land there. Um, I think we're gonna bottom this and we're gonna top this. 
But I don't think where it doesn't. I don't think it actually matters, right? Because we're not gonna be able to draw it. Oathiness is not great because you can't hit doubling season with it, which is my biggest concern. Uh, additionally, you, all of our this is the only planeswalker we can't just easily cast, so it doesn't really the the mana effect, the mana fixing effect doesn't really matter, and like the drawing effect is, it just doesn't seem better than like serum visions maybe. Let's get a breeding pool. Oh, because of the stupid thing. Oh, that's stupid. Well, now I feel bad. Um, I do want to keep a land on top, so I'll actually get rid of this one and keep this one. And this cost three? Wow, that was pretty brutal. All right. Yeah, I still think we're fine. Two doubling seasons is good. We have a land. Oh, but we're going to... Actually, this is fine. Yeah, it's going to cost all our mana, but I, I, it'll, it'll be okay. We'll make it through. So this makes our next spell cost one more, but we also have one more, so. Oh wait, we didn't draw land? Oh my god. And then this is gonna cost four? Oh god, this is just brutal. I'm uncomfortable at how much this how much damage the stamping sphere is actually doing. Yep. Yeah, because we were going to draw the land, so we would actually have land land, but like, wow, that's rough. Yep, I think we're just dead here. Yep, if we had one more turn, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe we do. Because they have to spend all their mana in this guy, and then this is a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I know, wait, I forgot one of the other guys. Yep, that's pretty bad. Yeah, we still got Gross Spiral. Maybe it's better than maybe it's better than this. I don't think so. I, I can't imagine it is. Maybe it is. Oh wow. Do we really get to live here? Or no? Do you, is your last card like a burn spell, and you just didn't didn't pump figure? You're just gonna burn us out. Come on, Ben. <laughs> Come on, dude. All right. Anyway, deck was pretty fun. I had a good time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will upload the, the final list to the video. So if you guys are watching on YouTube, you can check in the description below. You can also check out Twitch and Patreon if you want to support the stream. Even a dollar a month. Go to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. One dollar a month. That's literally nothing. Helps me out a ton. Uh, thank you guys for watching, though. I uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time. Really appreciate you watching, guys. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. But if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching.